Another type of redox reaction is combustion. Combustion is um, the addition of oxygen to a fuel. And for us, a fuel will be carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen, or made up of carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen. It could be just carbon and hydrogen if it's a hydrocarbon, um, like natural gas or um, gasoline, say. Uh, it could also be, with the oxygen, it could also be a carbohydrate, like a sugar, or a triglyceride, or fatty acid. Um, think of your foods that you could be burning. Anyway, and the other reactant when you're undergoing combustion is you're adding oxygen. And as long as you only have these elements and it's burning completely, in other words, you have lots of oxygen, the two products are always going to be CO2 and water. Okay, so you should recognize those parts of a combustion reaction. So let's add those um, down here. Okay, and um, then we're going to decide what's being oxidized and what's being reduced. Well, as it says down here, um, oxygen is oxidizing the fuel. So the fuel is being oxidized and the oxygen is the oxidizing agent. Oxygen is a great oxidizing agent. That's where we get the name. And so that means that oxygen itself is being reduced. Um, the last thing we're going to do is balance this, and this is kind of a reminder from what we did we've done this before. So on a combustion reaction, um, we leave oxygen for last. We check its oxi or its um, balancing last because we can put any number we need to in front of here this and not affect the carbon and hydrogen. So we do carbon first. Carbon, there's four. We need a four here. Then we do hydrogen. Um, hydrogen, we have eight, so we need a four there. And then when we consider oxygen, we need to consider the oxygen in both places. We have um, eight there and four here, so that's a total of 12. And so we will need um, this whole side, we're going to need 12 out of that, but we see we already have four, which means we need eight out of the O2, which gives us a four there.